Number 19. A polar equation is used to produce the graph of a row shown. Now, which equation is used to create the rows? Now, a couple things we could do just from looking at it. Uh, I can tell this is a sine because cosine always appears here on the polar axis. So if it's not on the polar axis, then it's a sine graph. So we know it's sine, which unfortunately does not eliminate any of these. But and when you have petals, if they're even, you uh, the number that's in with the theta, so you have something in with theta, is doubled. So even always doubles. So since I see four petals here, the number is going to be two theta there. Now the other thing we could count is uh, the radius. So you can count how many circles out it goes. One, two, three. Let's check this one. One, two, three. Since the max is three, that's the number that goes in front. So it should be three sine two theta, which uh, appears to me to be the answer choice D. Now we could check this in the graph, and I'll just throw in real quick like a four theta and show you what that would look like. So the way to get to this, we would uh, go to graph, menu, graph entry, choose polar, and I'll first do th three sine of four theta, and I'll show you this will become eight petals because this number always doubles. So we know that's not the equation. And the other thing I could do, uh, now, so we do know now it's got to be two theta. And the other option would be, um, whoops, lost the parenthesis there. Okay, the other thing would be if this was a two. Now I could do two, and the only, this looks a lot like the picture, the only thing different is if I trace this graph, the maximum value on the pedal, if I go all the way out, it shows you it's two units away. So I've traced it and I've gone to the maximum. When I go over here, the maximum was not two units out, it was three. So that's why that one would also be off.